Restaurants along this stretch of North Park's 30th Street want to set up their tables right on the pavement, and we're exploring how important dining is on the road to these restaurants reopening as part of our Rebound initiative. 10 News reporter John Horn explains why taking this step may be a matter of survival. The Siamo Napoli restaurant in the heart of North Park was just hitting its stride when the coronavirus took over. There is a, an enemy, but you don't see it. Owner Flavio Piramalo's Italian eatery is now takeout only with sales off 70 to 85 percent. And even as the state moves toward allowing restaurants to have guests again, Piro Malo worries it won't be enough given physical distancing. If you run a restaurant with 25, 30%, even 50% capacity. I don't think so. You can survive. Enter the North Park Main Street Association. It's pitching a plan to close 30th to vehicle traffic from University Avenue to Polk Avenue from Thursdays to Sundays, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So restaurants can set up on the asphalt in front of their space. So in order to make it uh, feasible for them to turn on their lights, open their doors, hire their chef, hire their bartenders, um, have their cleaning services there, they need to be able to increase their capacity. Restaurants wouldn't be able to just set up wherever they want on the street. The plan would require reservations, tables six feet apart, no more than five people per table, a 90 minute limit, face coverings for staff, table sanitation between parties, no mingling with other tables, no pets, and recommend disposable electronic or chalkboard menus. Putting table on the street would be great because over there you can space around. Piero Malo from Italy's Amalfi Coast says it could be a little like Europe, where eating outside is often the norm. John Horn, 10 News. The proposal goes before the North Park Community Planning Group tomorrow. Meantime, the city says it is investigating an emergency ordinance that could grant restaurants some access to public space. You can find all sorts of resources to help you adjust to this new normal on a special section. It's on our website, 10news.com rebound.